You're watching my How To DIY channel. My name is John, and today I'm going to show you how to solve a Rubik's Cube using TDCS, or Transcranial Direct Current Stimulation. The reason why I'm making this video is because I have another video where I designed a TDCS device, this one right here. I showed the schematic and I gave a tutorial on how to build one, and I also talked a little bit how I use it. That video had quite a few comments and uh, private messages where people wanted to see me actually use it and to see how I use it. When I use it, I, I want to learn something. I don't just use it and wear it because it doesn't work that way. You have to actively try to learn something for it to work. So I went out and I bought a Rubik's Cube. It's been probably 20 years since I've messed with a Rubik's Cube. Uh, back then I could do one level and maybe get a few other sides completed, but it would take several hours, even a couple of days. So I'm basically starting from scratch. So how I'm gonna do this is, I'm gonna start a timer, I'm gonna play with the Rubik's Cube, make sure that I still know how to do that one side, and then I'm gonna study. I'm gonna get on the internet and I'm gonna look up the algorithms and try to memorize as few algorithms as needed to solve the Rubik's Cube. Uh, once I feel like I've got it, I'll take some notes, I'll practice it a couple of times, and then I'll try to do it without any help, just from memory. And I'm going to show how long it takes and record my actions, and we'll see how it goes. Alright, so before we get started, I have to attach the TDCS machine. I have the machine right here. I've got a fresh set of electrodes. The one with the black is the cathode, the white is the anode. Uh, your device may be different, unless you build it yourself, you'll know exactly which one it is. So I take the anode and I place it above my left eye, just slightly off to the left. Right about there. And then I take the cathode, which is the negative lead, and I put it on my shoulder. I'm going to leave a link to that other video if you're interested in making your own or if you want to hear a little bit more about it. The anode is the positive, cathode is the negative popular current they say goes from positive to negative but in actuality the electrons will be coming from the cathode flowing through my brain at two milliamps which is the highest that this will go and then out of the anode so to turn it on and then I run it up to I'm going to use uh, about 1.6 milliamps for this you can go up as high as 2 milliamps, but uh, 1.6 seems to work just fine for me. Here we go, 1.5. All right, and I'll sit there, and I'll let that run for uh, 20 to 30 minutes, and then 20, 30 to minutes, I'll take it off. So let's start studying. Okay, so it looks like 
these are the only two algorithms I need to get the the um, second level. So let's practice that a little bit. It says to line up the. Let's go figure out the third level. Okay, now it says I have to get across. So there's like Ten algorithms you can use but it looks like if I just use this one and just keep doing it over and over again I'll be able to get it where it needs to be except when I have certain patterns I have to hold the cube a certain way so when I have this pattern Those, I have to hold that away from me so it looks like I have that pattern right there so I'd have to hold that away from me and the other pattern is this one if I get that one I have to hold it across like that <laughs> Alright, so I guess the next step is to learn how to get them lined up. I've only, I've got, looks like I've got two lined up. These two. Alright. says to look for ones that match up if I don't have any that match up this is the algorithm once again there was a few of them but this one you can use for all, the whole situation and it goes R. so when I have two that match up like these two, I have to hold it like so. And then if I have them across from each other matching, I have to hold it like so. Alright, so now I gotta learn the corners. spot not necessarily oriented right but have the right three colors algorithm. 
All right, so we're finished. Now all we have to do is turn it down, turn it off, and then take off the electrodes. It is as simple as that. The effects for me and uh, for most people that have used this last about a week. If you're doing some intensive studying for tests or whatever, you can uh, do it a couple of times a week. That's all there is to it. So let's get back to the Rubik's Cube. Okay, so last step's actually kind of easy. It says that the corner that I have that is matched, I hold it to the back. Sorry, my art sucks. And then the algorithm that I have to use is... All right, there it goes. Now let's practice. All right, you'll notice that the timer has uh, skipped forward. I didn't want to make you sit through all my practice, but I practiced it uh, three more times. I think I'm ready. So flip that over, give it a good stir, and we'll see if I can do it.